So to create module scripts in Roblox, it's very similar to creating a script. You just go into any one of these things and look for module scripts. So it's not a script, it's not a local script, it's module script. And these things are very flexible in where you put them. They can be used in server and client, and they pre-fill you a best practice of what you're supposed to do in Lua. There has changed in a lot in dot versions, and Lua has kind of adopted the good local module. So you have a local variable, and then you return it. Anything you have on this table will be exported out. It could be a function, but the most common thing is to have a table that you add things to. If you're an object-oriented programmer, this would be a class, for example. So we're going to do this simple functional programming example and just have a module that has a function called cow, and it returns cow. Right, big old string. So this module script is done. Now, it has a name of module script, so we're going to say cow module. That way it's a little more obvious what it is. And if we wanted to use it in a sibling script, I say sibling because they're both next to each other and have the same parent of the service script service, you can require it in a similar fashion. So I'd say cow module. And instead of requiring, usually it would take a string of a file on your machine. In Roblox, it actually takes a reference to the actual script object. Think of it as a table that you're trying to dig your way over there. So there's no such thing as, you can't go like cow module, right? It's not really how it works. What you can do is script, which refers to the, the script that you're currently in, dot parent, which allows you to go up above to the script service, then once you hit dot, it'll show you all its children properties. And the one we're interested in is cow module. So you scroll to the bottom, you see those little icons that's indicative of the script. The script is what we're in right now, right? It's called script, but cow module, we named it. Once you import it, you're good to go. Then you can use that function on the cow module, cow, and you can see it gives us a, little, a nice little code hint by just hitting dot, because that's what the module exposes is public, I want to say it's publicly accessible. When you hit run, you can see it uses that module. And so that's the basics of using modules for both local server and just regular old coding in Roblox.